Hello to all of you beautiful people and beautiful souls. Peace on earth and love and light to you. This is Gabrielle Ether. Thank you for coming to my channel. This is a pick a card reading for your past, present, and future. So, some type of way I came up with this idea. I don't even know why or how. I just heard it. So, um, don't pick these cards. You're not going to be led to these cards unless you're going to be in the first group. But don't be led to that yet. I'm just going to kind of to kind of explain to you how this is going to work. Basically, I'm going to tell you a little about your past. I'm going to tell you a little about your present. And then I'm going to tell you something that you can look forward to. Um, we're just going to kind of see how this works out and see um, the things that I tell you about your past. If it resonates with you and if what happened in your past is kind of led you to where you are right now. And then we're going to see what your future is saying. So... And um, every group that I'm going to give people, then I'm going to, these set of cards right here are going to tell you about your past. And these set of cards are going to tell you about your present. And these set of cards are going to tell you about your future. Okay, so I'm going to give you some words to be led to. So the first group of people are future. Don't let the words confuse you. Just, um listen to whatever word just you know gives you that nudge to pick and then you just pick it regardless of the word the first group of people are future the second group of people is um past second group of people are called past and the third group of people are called present present okay so <laughs> for those of you who are led to future, then these are your cards. And we're going to get started now. Let's see what your, um, let's see what your past is. So let's see what these, um, what your past was. Let's see what these cards are saying about your past. Okay, so you guys, um, I thought I paused it. If I didn't, then, um. I don't know <laughs> but anyways uh the thing is you guys I really hate that I'm feeling like this it seems like you guys have did just did not have a lot to look up to in your past coming up I think some of you guys just felt alone and by yourself you really didn't have that uh, parental figure that you feel like you should have had I don't know if you guys had it at all or if you just felt like um you didn't have the type of parental figure that you were supposed to have. And some of you guys just really grew up just feeling alone in your past. And this is your past situation right here. It's like, um, I feel like some of you guys will probably like play games with yourself or, you know, sit back and imagine a lot. I was a child like that. I used to sit back and just use my imagination a lot and I just would pretend I was other places and I would always see you know like the bitter sides of things and I didn't have a bad childhood growing up I went through most of my stuff as an adult but like uh when it came to my family members and stuff but I remember that was my first big word that I used because my mom my mother used to always tell me I had such a big imagination <laughs> and I feel like that's what some of you guys did you just always like imagine such a better place but this is more so you like you were more so just by yourself and these are you know this is I'm talking to you know guys and girls here so but it seems like you was just a majority by yourself and the things that were around you were just kind of hectic and just kind of like um all over the place just kind of uh you just seem like um the place that you grew up it just had a lot going on and it seems like just some some type of way for you there was just never any risk and it's like you always um dreamed about this more peaceful place to go to um that you wanted to go to but you but uh while you were daydreaming about this this was not it it was more so this more so hectic and like i was saying it seemed like you just felt like um more so by yourself i don't know if there was any kind of um 
abuse going on in this situation. I can't say I don't know if I'm getting it. <laughs> I guess the words kind of came out, out wrong. But I am picking up some people probably experience some type of uh, abuse, some type of sexual abuse in your childhood and that kind of made you like resistant to others and like resistant to e to like even like people who are um trying to like really love you right now and like i said some of you guys just feel like you didn't really have the role model model that you wanted to um in your past and um coming up so next i'm going to go to your present situation Okay, you guys, these were the cards, you know, they were already out, but I, I, you know, brought them back out and flipped them over, and, um, this is what Spirit's saying, as far as your paired present situation goes, I feel like some of you guys are taking what's in your past, like, you're still holding on to that, and I was saying that, you know, you just feel so alone in your past, and it seems like you've carried that over to your future, I was just, I was, basically just saying that and especially when it's six solitude card out here it's just more confirmation to me that this is exactly what you do i'm not telling you to seek solitude <laughs> like i would in some other readings i'm saying like this is actually what you do it's like you stay to yourself um you just feel like it's better that way it's peaceful that way you're used to being like that so you just kind of um you just kind of lay back and reserve type of person because of everything that you went through in your childhood and i'm looking at this car how it looks so playful and to me this is just more confirming that the stuff that you went through in your childhood has just let you just kind of like not trusting people kind of reserved just kind of um like just just kind of and still well yeah and still kind of sad about it like you think about it sometimes and spirit is saying as far as right now goes um basically <laughs> no longer think about the sad stuff anymore cloak yourself in light okay because you are like you are light work and remember that <coughs> excuse me you guys and um continue to anytime anything negative comes your way continue to put a light on to that situation i have a message coming up it's with a message with a citrine and when i upload it you guys might want to listen to that because i because i talk about you know shining your light onto every negative situation and uh whenever just remember anytime any negative thoughts come to your head shed like light on it or shine light onto that situation meaning anytime your negative past come up sorry saying you know i am not my past anymore you know that happened back then this is gonna happen now and any type of negative thought come up just you know just counter it and just say something positive you know if someone used to say negative things to you just say well you know what i then you just start you know like i said shine light onto it by saying well i'm not that person i am this person and if you know you start thinking negative and start thinking well you know i didn't have any parents you know or you know my parents weren't good role models for some of you they are now and you could just say well you know the what what there was the past one to let that go and they are now just always like flip it around and shine light onto that situation don't let those dark situations take you over anymore you know, and then if you guys still don't have good parents now, say, you know what? Well, hey, I still turned out good whether I have the good parents or not. Continue to shine, shine light on your dark situations. Call on your joy guys, your joy guys. Call on your angels, your um, your spiritual team. They're here to help you and they're going to, they here, they're here to make you feel better even though in the times where you feel bad because you guys, it's like, um... It's like, this is what I do. When I'm feeling real bad, like, I literally call on my angels and my spiritual team. And I just have this overwhelming, like, sense, sense of, like, peaceful energy just instantly sent to me. And that will happen to you, too, once you start calling on your angels and your spiritual team to give you more joy, okay? This is your present situation. Now, we're going to go to your future. 
okay you guys whether you believe me or not believe me or not but i believe you will because i believe you are really going to resonate with this i was just looking at this card and i was like oh that's why they went through all of that in their past that's why they're going through certain stuff now because you are here to heal other people who have went through those things like people are going to come to you and they're going to say like wow like i've never even had anybody help me out in the way that you've helped me me before you know there's there are people here that need you okay i'm going to suggest that you work that you um work on your crown chakra i just got finished saying in another reading tonight okay and that you um and I, I really feel like that you guys might be doing work like me. If you're not already doing it, this is your future, but you might already be doing it. Work like me, where you're um, intuit intuitively helping people. And like I said, this is your spiritual practice. This is your future, okay? You went through all of this because you are a light worker, like I was saying in the beginning. And it seems like your light work is just to heal people. And if you're not healing people, um, like... You know being a C or something like that then you are here to help people mental mentally and heal them um, through different mindsets and through different trauma and this is your future your future is going to be if you don't even see yourself doing this right now because you might feel like you having all types of mind battles well hey that's why you having them and that's why you had had them that's why you went through all types of things because you're going to set so many people free in the unique way that you're going to do it people are going to be coming up to you and telling you like wow like i've never in my life heard anybody put it like this before or people are going to be tell, telling you like wow like i've never thought that I could get free from this situation. You have been the only person to free me. To help free me. Or to help me in this situation. Like people are going to be telling you this all the time. Because it's going to be something about you. You in the unique way. That you do things. You know. And uh, this is your future. Wow that is great. So I see that you are such a unique person. And the way you're going to be helping people out. Is like wow that's amazing to me. So, that is all for you guys, past, present, and future. If you're leaving the video now, then thanks for coming. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Give this video a like. And let me know down in the comment section if any of this resonated with you at all. Bye, y'all. Those of you who were led to the word past, then these are your cards. I'm about to tell you about your past, your present, and your future. Your past is up first. Okay, you guys, these are the cards for your, um, your past. Okay, so, immediately I was picking up that, um, some of you used to have some health issues in your past. Um, I don't know if it was when you were really little or is it just basically in your past and maybe some type of um health issues something that required you that um had you laying laying down a lot or not as active as you will want to be and uh maybe it is some type of heart issue and um maybe it was some type of i'm looking at this maybe some type of allergy or you know i just think that um you guys uh, in the past you were sick in some type of way you were sick or just not well and I'm not getting much else about this I'm going to go ahead and go to your present okay you guys so this is what I'm getting like your past is your past let your past be the past because that whatever you suffer with in your past like I said I couldn't just um there were a couple of things that I were naming that I was naming out but um I don't know exactly what your exact situation is but I think some of you guys uh, I don't think for some of you guys I don't think it's anything serious because I think that you are still dealing with that now but I think the only reason that you are dealing with that now because you have brung that back into your future as if this situation could have been done with a long time ago if this is some type of health situation then i feel like um some type of health situation just some type of old mindset that you just brought brought back into 
um you're that you're still dealing with now but it seems like it's more so of a choice like it's something that you could have that you could have did about it back then or before and that you're you just haven't yet because um you just uh just are human <laughs> hey simply put and you just haven't yet so this is something that you've been struggling with for a while since your childhood or you know just something that you've been struggling with in your past and you just have um yet to finally deal with this the spirit is like now's the time to let go let go of this situation right here yeah my nail broke <laughs> tonight when i was working out with my baby so and spirit was like this is not you anymore you're not that old then you're not that old person you are this new person now um, figure out who you are right now and whoever you are right now, that's who you, you, well, you know who you are right now. That's the thing and who you are. That's who you be. The thing that you had suffered with so much in your past, is just not even you anymore. You can get rid of whatever it is. You don't have to suffer and suffer with that mentality and no more or with that illness or with that addiction or whatever it was that's in your past, you know, leave this alone. Um, and I kind of feel like maybe just with some type of exercise or something like, I know I just started a new exercise program. I was just talking about that and I wasn't led to these cards, to um, these cards, but I know just something that I've been dealing with for a really long time. You know, and it required just exercise for me to um, basically get rid of it. Like I said, I don't feel like this is just something uh, detrimental or something like that. I just think this is something that you can easily get rid of. The spirit is just basically saying now it's time to let it go. Like now is the time. You're different now. You're a new person now. Now we're going to go to your future. So you guys had a lot of cards to come out for future and I guess because your future looks so bright. This is you in the future. Just um, when I see this card, if you guys are familiar with my videos and you've heard me say this plenty of times, plenty of times, this is just you in the, in the future being exactly where you want to be and getting everything that you want. It looks like you have finally mastered this thing or got control of this thing that has had you like ill for so long or sick for so long like i said maybe it's just a, something mentally you know when i say illness or sickness it could just be like an old mindset or something something that just had you feeling like that seems like you finally overcame this thing and now you have everything you want i see joy in your future like you're gonna like you're finally past this thing like you look you are up you are more active i don't know if this is the weight issue or something like that because um right here i just feel like this person is just up and active like they couldn't do much before and now they're up and active now and like i was just talking about exercising you know in the last one and this is the card. Like, I always remember this card. I have other cards for other Zodiacs. But this one is the easiest for me to remember. Because <laughs> it's two people. So, I always say, you know, it's the one for um for Gemini. So, maybe you guys are Geminis. Or, um, but, basically, this card is just saying, this is just you getting everything you want. This is you reaching your goal. Whatever your goal was. Whatever this sickness was. Or this thing that just kind of had you sick or just ill or just um, not mobile or whatever it is. It doesn't have to be, you know, a, a literal sickness. Just something that just had you down and bound for so long looks like you're finally getting rid of it and looks like you're reaching your goal when it comes to that situation yeah your future looks so bright you guys you have totally transformed into the person that you really want to be like you're even getting more rest in the future some of you guys want a lot of rest right now you're looking for a lot of peace right now and this is in your future okay so um look it looks like you're finally, uh, you you finally just let it go. In your future, what I told you that you have to do right now in your present, looks like you've done that. And that's what basically what all these cards are saying. This one too. Look like you finally, looks like you finally just said, hey, I'm letting all this go. I'm leaving it alone. No matter what the cost is, I'm just not doing this no more. And it's gone. And it looks like you're going to make that decision and... You're going to be, you know, so much at peace. Like, you're just not going to even care 
anyway you're not gonna have a care in the world anymore this is your future mindset like if you can't see it now then just know this is how you're gonna be one day in the future just lay back somewhere chilling like i said you're gonna be getting more risk but this is right here this right here is more so saying you're not gonna have a care in the world so oh my gosh your future looks bright don't worry about what's going on now you're gonna get through it you're gonna get over it okay <laughs> so i think that is great for you guys next up is the people that were led to the word present okay so for those of you who were led to the cars to the word present this is your situation this is your past this is your present this is your future and up first is your past okay so you didn't have many cards to come out for your past like some of like the other ones did and um at first i thought it was just going to be these two and then that one just all the same sudden came out and um i read these cards the same sometimes those of you who are used to my pick a car videos and you have came across my videos or looking at some of my celebrity videos i read these two cards somewhat the same this card is almost always saying let go this card is saying let go and sometimes this card is saying holding on depending how i see the situation okay so um uh it's like um you guys had a lot of cards to come out for the present and I'm not going to even take up too many time, too much of time here because I pretty much know what it's saying. And I was saying this on one of the other readings. I was just saying, I was just saying that I didn't have a lot to happen to me when I was a child and that I'm going through a lot as an adult. I feel like those of you who are led to this situation present, look, you were led to the word present. <laughs> it seems like that's what you, it seems like you're probably like me. You didn't have much going on when you was a child, but oh, now as an adult, you have a lot going on. So spirit is saying though, whatever has happened in your past, whatever has happened that that led you up to whatever you're going through now um and this seems like more of a recent past let this go okay it seems like to me that some of you guys were a pe peculiar type of child you know which led you into the type of the person that you are today it has a lot to do with your light work and who you are today okay and that's all i'm pretty much led to say we're gonna go to present now Okay, so you guys have so many cards to come out for your present situation. And I guess this is what you're going through today. Uh, just right off, I feel like you have a lot going, like you keep a lot a lot going on. You do that. You do that You do that on purpose. You have a lot going on. You keep a lot going on. And it's like you're just that type of person that kind of like uh, stay in your head a lot also. And um, almost hard to read just because you have a lot going on i will say this though i remember when this card came out it's one of the ones that i actually saw coming out and some of them i didn't see but i saw this one coming out and i said that's what you are right now this is what you are and if you don't know this is what you are this is what you need to be right now and the fact that you are like this it seems like you're probably just caring a lot from a lot of people um around you it's like um the the mantle that's on your life right now it's like you really are um you really have to be like kind of um i just keep hearing in control of other people's lives but i don't want to use that word control it's more responsible more is responsible you're responsible for a lot of people and um it's like uh like i said you didn't it wasn't anything that really happened to you as a child it seems like um uh, the way your life and your destiny was set up for you to go through some go through more stuff as an adult you know and it seems like um the main thing and, and why you're going through this and i was talking about a peculiar child and a lot of us are peculiar as a child because we have like this uh mainly because we have a way of seeing the world and I'm saying we because I know I was like that also. People used to tell me all, all, 
all, that all the time that you have a way of seeing the world strange and a unique way of seeing the world and that type of person is usually this type of person here to help a lot of people and it seems like you will be responsible for a lot of people and um but i'm seeing this too and spirit is saying um something that you got going on right now um just it might seem off subject but spirit is saying to know your worth okay seem like you're dealing a lot with uh with men issues or with female issues and spirit is like you know what just don't be so quick this is what i'm hearing just don't be so quick to lay up with um certain people because some people are not even worth your time okay so um seems like by everything that you have going on you kind of forget to be like this sometimes you kind of forget to be happy because you are just really overwhelmed you have a lot going on right now you have like i said you have a real a bigger responsibility and it's like you kind of forget to to be happy sometimes to be like this and spirit is like what through whatever that you're going through right now always be grateful remember to stay humble and remember to be grateful you guys the quickest way you can get out of your situation is when you are grateful and you show spirit that hey i might not be wherever i where i want to be but i but i am grateful for at least you know where i'm at now because it can always be worse okay so and so you guys um plain and simple you need to get you some downtime like i said i feel like a lot of you do a lot you put yourself out there and you do that on purpose because it's just the type of person you are spirit is like okay like um you need to get you some downtime you need to get you some rest okay and i feel like like i said i feel i feel a lot of overactive thinking like that's just the type of person that you are right now it's kind of like and um for some of you you need to more so take your time it's like you just the type of person that just kind of go without thinking sometimes without planning and spirit is like but you're not in um any type of rush or you shouldn't feel like you're in 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 any type of rush so just calm down and just remember that everything that's going to happen for some of you remember everything that's supposed to happen is going to happen in the right time you know in the time that the universe wants it to happen and for some of you spirit is really just saying take your time and slow down and plan more okay so it's kind of what i'm this is kind of what i'm saying we're here with get grounded some of you guys need to ground yourself do some grounding meditations you know meditate more ask and seek and just pray more to your guys just ask um just get more in contact with your guys especially with this instant feedback card here's kind of what i'm getting also it's like your spiritual team is saying hey we really want to talk to you right now you need to get more closer to us so when it comes to your to your guys your spiritual team your guys um your angels and all of them they really want you to um get like a more connection with them and they want you to pray more and get connected with them more and meditate more and while you're meditating don't forget to like i said do um grounding exercises okay because when you get grounded then you're gonna see how to um not be so much in a rush all the time you know that's what grounding is going to do kind of get you for uh, so much like up in the air <laughs> if you are air sign <laughs> so i don't know i'm just saying grounding will actually show you you know when to go and when to stop you know that's what grounding would do so that's all for your present situation now we're gonna go now we're going to go to your future okay you guys so your future looks really bright it looks like by all the things that you got going on right now and um the things that you went through like in your past oh you guys i heard like i said when i first heard i forgot to tell you guys this when i first saw there was just two cars coming out it seemed like i kept trying to show for the cars and two cars kept coming out two cars kept coming out. i was putting it back in it was just two and two and two and then until you know i just accepted those two that came the um two cards that came out and then one more came out and i heard double for your trouble because it don't matter what happened in your past and like i said for you guys it's more so of your recent past because you're going through a lot you know presently your present moment i guess that's why you was led to the word present and your future looks so bright though and it's just like you know what spirit is saying that all that you went through 
and your and your that all that you're going through right now in your past or even right now you know what don't even worry about it because your future looks so bright anything that's come that will be in your future will just be anything that's happening in your present will not be in your future just know that for sure okay <laughs> so and for some of you guys, I feel like some of you guys are probably like me. Like I said, they procure your child and you're just sent here to have a great deal of responsibility. It looks like this is you in your future, okay? Like you have actually moved more into your light work and you're probably being, um, if you're not a senior now, then you definitely will be then, okay? This is um, a card that I, that is, I always well, one way I look at it is a card for seers, and if you don't know that, then you would definitely be one then. If you are already one now, then you'll just be stepping more into your your calling. This is you in the future empowering so many people, and I feel like so many people, a lot of people, I see some of you guys up on stage being like a uh, motivational speaker or something like that, and I guess spirit really wants to me to let some of you guys know because some of you guys might just not have been tapped into that yet when it comes to you being a seer but you are okay you are a seer this is you being in the future being so filled you know being this foot this fulfillment card right here great card to have i love seeing this card because this is you being so filled up being just um you just having everything you want being so not lacking anything not lacking any any um anything financially and you just you just not being sad you just being happy just being so fulfilled this is your future you guys and for those of you who are wondering if you're going to have kids in the future, you will have kids in the future. And for some of you who already have kids now, this is just saying don't even worry about them because they're even going to be straight. You're, you're going to be you're going to be able to do the things for your children that you really w want to do in your future. So all the things that you got going on right now, don't even worry about it because in your present, because your future looks so bright, you and your children will be bright. So this is, you know what? Just what is this card saying? <laughs> I wanted to say just accept it. Yeah, just accept this. Accept what you got going on right now because what you got going on right now is just what you have going on right now. It has nothing to do with where you are going in the future, okay? And accept the fact that your future is going will be like this. It will be everything that you ever wished, wanted, or dreamed. Your future will be like this. Have faith. That's why they accept this card is there. Just have faith and know that this will you be your future like you guys even see that so just accept it and accept the calling that's on your life okay wow you guys have such a great future ahead of you and i feel like this won't be long for some of you especially since you're going through so much right now so you guys let me know down in the comments if any of this resonated with you at all if you would like me to do more videos like this and that is all you guys continue to come and grow with me and subscribe bye